welcome to today's video. So as you can see, this time we're taking a second look at the UK streaming service BritBox, which has certainly improved of late. So I'm very, very pleased to see that there's been all sorts of additions, uh, particularly in the realms of telefantasy, which is uh, what I'm most interested in. Um, so we did have a look about a month or so ago and I was a little disappointed with what was on there, but now um, they've still got the store. So, um, it's always been very, very good for Doctor Who content, as you can see. Um, the only sort of recent addition to that, obviously the much more recent food from the Deep Blu-ray is not included yet, but it was really good to see that they did have the two 1960s Peter Cushing Dalek movies, which are both fantastic. I absolutely love those. So uh, it was great, great to see that they've been added on. Now, the main additions, for me at least, do seem to be lots of uh, classic telefantasy. So if you remember last time, for Thunderbirds, they had like a little selection of maybe the best 10 episodes. This time, um, it looks like they've got, you know, 30 odd episodes on there, which is a bit more like it, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure if that represents every one, but certainly a, a big lot of it. Um, not the case with everything. So Stingray, for example, they've still only got the pilot, which is how it was um, a couple of couple of months ago but uh, and that goes for like Fireball and Supercar but um, uh, Joe 90 was the same uh, Captain Scarlet however which I imagine is probably another popular one um, it looks like the whole lot are there which is once again is that's all we want is uh, complete seasons uh, we do not want selected episodes that someone's chosen at least I don't um, so yeah, lots of introductions and additions. So out of this world, in the in the realm of telefantasy, I'm absolutely delighted with some of these. So, uh, Terry Nation Survivors, all three seasons are there. Um, certainly one to be watching during the pandemic, as this was uh, how they thought things might unfold with a, a pandemic in the mid 1970s. Very very good, very prophetic. Um, another Terry Nation classic, Blake Seven, one which I've absolutely loved. Once again, all four seasons. 52 episodes there they all are and they are fantastic they look nice and sharp obviously you're not going to get all the extras that you would on a dvd set or a blu-ray set but if you just want to watch them there they are at the touch of a button now one thing i was particularly impressed with with britbox recently was after poor diana rig passed away a couple of weeks ago literally within a couple of days they had Avengers content on BritBox, almost uh, like a dedication to her. Uh, whether these were planned and they just got around to it, I honestly don't know, but you've got, um, there's sadly no Honor Blackman or earlier on there, but you do have the uh, black and white Diana Riggs, the colour Diana Riggs, and then the uh, the uh, final colour season of Tara King. Um, really, really great to have those. Um, they do also highlight some of the f more famous guest stars that appeared in some of the episodes, and uh, well, we'll have a look at that a little bit later on, but very, very pleased to see that they've got some uh, classic Avengers on there, because it's, uh, it's great. There's one with Clive Dunn there. <laughs> Peter Cushing episode. There's some brilliant guest stars, didn't they? So another favorite hammer film here the quatermass and the pit which they've got on there they do have uh, a few odd movies it's, i'm still thinking of this more as a tv streaming site rather than movies but there are some movies on there also got there um one million years bc uh another classic david bowie's man who fell to earth another good one to include these are all under the sort of telefantasy umbrella delighted to see both seasons complete of Jerry Anderson's Space 1999, which, don't get me wrong, I've always loved it. Uh, the pilots, the uh, breakaway, absolutely fantastic, that one. Highly, highly recommended. And, that, and the first two episodes almost make a movie in their own right. They're that good. However, I do uh, and have always preferred Jerry Anderson's UFO. And uh, I was very, very pleased to see both seasons of UFO are on there as well, which is fantastic. So there we are. Great stuff. It still holds up really, really well today, in my opinion. So we've also got Randall and Hopkirk, deceased, which is nice to see. I love the ITC stuff and uh, the fact that they're adding it on there makes me think we're going to start to get some of the really obscure stuff as well, uh, which would be you know, fantastic. 
We live in hope for some of that. The Complete Prisoner. Once again, they put all 17 episodes on, but it would be nice to just have maybe a couple of documentaries. There must be some knocking around in the archives. I remember a very good one by Jules Holland, where he visits Port Miriam, which would be a nice little addition. Um, Saffron Steel. Once again, that's one which I was very pleased to see. Um, not something I've ever bothered to own on DVD or even video back in the day, but I've still got quite fond memories of watching it as a kid and being quite terrified at some of the episodes. They give me nightmares. <laughs> so I'm going to dip into those at some point. Um, Hitchhiker's Guide, all six parts of that. Absolutely classic. That's another one that I'm going to be uh, going to binge one, one uh, evening. Uh, certainly looking forward to rewatching that. I haven't watched that in years. So uh, that's a great little six part series. Uh, Star Cops. Never really uh, had its uh, had a fair stab at it, did it really? But I enjoyed what what got made. Uh, certainly, it was a bit more adult than perhaps people were looking for, but um, certainly uh, I enjoyed it. So there we are. That's a lot of the the slightly newer telefantasy editions here, and this is quite nice where they've broken down sort of the key guest stars. So in the Avengers, there. You've got some episodes with particular actors, Roy Kinnear, Christopher Lee, Ronnie Barker, Clive Dunn, Bernard Cribbins, John Le Mesure, Patrick Cargill, Gordon Jackson, Joss Ackland. Fantastic, aren't they? Brian Wilde from Porridge there. That's quite nice. And they've done a similar thing with the Avengers episodes there. So if you did want to watch a particular one, you could. Um, and then the Space 1999 there we are, so the Patrick Trout episode, Jim Collins, Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing. Pretty good stuff. There is an odd Jerry Anderson Thunderbirds documentary, which is uh, pretty good. They, obviously they've got some more up-to-date stuff. There's Humans there, Misfits Life on Mars, and Ashes to Ashes, which is uh, due a little revival quite soon, and it's good to have those on there for sure. As said, the complete Doctor Who, all the uh, eight seasons of the BBC Red Dwarf before it moved over to Dave. So once again, really good to see that there in its entirety. But there are still a few series that I would like to see, and particularly some of their wartime stuff, sort of Tenko, Colditz, Secret Army, Kessler. So I'm looking, I'm holding out that they uh, they do have some of those quite soon. But anyway, that's a, a little look at what's available right now on BritBox. And certainly it's improving literally by the day. So there you are. I hope you have enjoyed this. Do please give the video a thumbs up. Do please consider subscribing for regular television content and I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.